Welcome to the 2014 Geography 2 Fieldwork Questions Revision Film. By watching this, you're well on your way to preparing thoroughly for the part two questions for your exam on Friday, May the 16th. You will need to write in a detailed and convincing manner to really educate the examiner about the fieldwork that we carried out in March of this year. Depending upon the nature of the questions, you will either write about the fieldwork carried out on the day we visited sites along Saundersfoot Bay, or the fieldwork carried out on the second day when we stopped at the sites along the Afan Safinui River. Choose your fieldwork example carefully. Write only about one or the other. This film will deal with our rivers day. Our hypothesis for the river field trip was that as the cross-sectional area of a river increases, velocity will increase. And the aim was to investigate the change in channel variables with increasing distance downstream. The purpose of the fieldwork inquiry was to collect data about the width and depths along a cross-section of a river at three different points along its course and to also measure the velocity of the river at these points. By collecting this data, we were then able to present and analyse it in order to see whether the results supported aspects of Bradshaw's model. Remember, you will really impress the examiner if you can link your fieldwork to geographical theory, and it would probably be helpful if you could include a simplified sketch to illustrate part of Bradstow's model. Maybe something like this. If you have a question like this, describe the location of your fieldwork and outline why this was a suitable site for your investigation. Do remember that a simple sketch with detailed annotations describing the human and physical features of the Afonsifinwi catchment area would be an impressive way to approach it. Your sketch could look something like this. Practice drawing it with some annotations so that you could rep reproduce it in the exam. Now let's take a look at what you did for your fieldwork. You may have to describe how you collected the primary data, discuss the strengths and weaknesses of data collection, explain how you responded to the risks associated with primary data collection. Watch the next few clips and think about how you might answer those questions. What equipment are you using, Tom? What equipment are you using? Okay. And how many depths are you doing? Five. And Tom, what would you expect to happen as we move down the river in terms of your depth measurements? Okay, so Tom, describe to me what's going on here. What are you doing? Uh, Joe is measuring the velocity by using a hydrocarb stop. And we've recorded how long it takes for the propeller, impeller, to move down the track. Okay, and how many times across the river are you measuring Six it? Six times. And what would you expect to happen as you move it across the river? The middle of the river should have a faster velocity than the edges, provided there's no meander. Why is that? Because on a meander, there's uh, the fastest, I forgot what the word is, for when it, the fastest flow. Where the fastest flow is? Yeah. Begins with T. Uh, something, ah. Uh, T H. 
You always remember. Dalwek. Hey, well Brixie done, boy. Brixie boy. <laughs> Dalwek. <laughs> <laughs> it's my socks and trousers. You've got to get a picture of this. Go on, mate. Can we take that? Oh, I've got to get it. Greg, just go for it. Bro, it's not going to be able to walk along that. Jump! Are you crazy? That's because she's wet already. Oh my god! I can't believe you haven't been in one today. I don't want to do this anymore. Dog, Greg. Greg, you're like, what is he on about? Just remember, I've got a video playing. Oh, it's got it! That's the noise. The noises he makes when he gets cold. No, we're doing wetted oh, perimeter okay. now. Okay, wait, you're never going to be able to see the wetted perimeter like that. Yes, someone else needs to be over there with, with Joe. Go on, Tommy, you're in now. I'll jump in. I'll jump in. I can't look. It's pretty cool. Alright, now step across. Briggs, step across, mate. Step across. Step across. Step across. He can't step across by himself. He needs someone else. Wait, oh, Briggs. Briggs, you've lost them, mate. Hold on to the thing, you. Now you've got to get that across to Joe again. Right. The easiest thing to do, guys, is take the tape measure with you. Rather than reel it out yeah. here, yeah. take it with you. Oh and reel it out a bit at a time. Okay? Right. Just walk. Do it, do it. I've got to get wet. Just get that to Oh, God, this is going to end badly. <laughs> No, you need to get your dirty too. Get in the velocity. Five eight two. Everyone I think we're going to pull it in. What do you think you're Have you pulled it in? Ready? Alright, you go. Alright, ready, put it down. Florence? The problem that you've got is Johnny is directly upstream from you, so he's upsetting your reading. <laughs> he's completely ready. oblivious to it. Ready. Johnny's in the way. Johnny's upsetting your velocity. What were you told not to do? <laughs> what did he do? Oh, I jumped there. I didn't want to do it, so we had to pull it until it all reeled out. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. What do I need? Bring, 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 bring your left hand. The rear of your right. Right, you're in the room.